Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 6th of July 2020. We will have seven cards, one for each day of this week. And yes, from there then. Okay. So, Monday the 6th of July. Sagittarius. The hung man. Tuesday. Ace of Pentacles. Wednesday. Knight of Swords. Thursday. King of Cups. Eight of Wands on Friday. The Wheel of Fortune Saturday. And Sunday for you, Seven of Swords. Your influencing energy, Five of Cups. Being said about something that happened in your past, a recent past or sometime in your life but I think it is recent past because we do have these two of cups happening right now something good is happening and standing for you there waiting for your attention something is going well for you maybe not much two of cups but yeah at that point you are just thinking about and remembering how difficult it was to get there to have something standing for you so much of disappointments, so much of hurt feelings, so much of uh, pain in the you know, looking into the past and, and remembering everything that was negative and hurtful and difficult for you. That kind of energy from Five of Cups. Monday, Hung Man and Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles with a Knight of Pentacles. Now, Knight of Swords, Wednesday with Nine of Cups. Oh, sweet. And then, King of Cups with the Two of Swords. Eight of Wands, we are pairing now with Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, the Sun. And Seven of Swords, Sunday with justice. Okay. Four of Wands. Some some sort of success. As I said, we do have these two cups in here. Something is going on. Some way you were successful. This is first plateau. This is first achievement. After some some period of, of hard work. You did have some kind of achievement in here and you're very happy about it. This is just enjoying it at this point. Uh, often this is home, weddings, um, celebration of that sort, birthday parties, anniversaries, everything kind of family, marriage, that kind of um, success, that um, achievement, uh, that personal and so and so. Also, also business, career as well with the four of ones. First success we've got in here. That's why I'm saying you do have these two cups. Something is definitely going on. Something goes well for you at this point. But you did have difficult time to get there. There was a difficult time. Monday. You are very optimistic, being very happy in here. Ten of cups, being optimistic, seeing bright future in front of yourself. Family, again, look at this, same people here, waving, being very happy, celebrating, happiness, happy life, being just happy. But, uh, but your environment says, hang in there, nothing is done yet, okay, that's completion, you've done something well in here and you completed, but it's just the first stage, perhaps, still something to follow, you can build on it. Or something, start something completely new, doesn't matter, but it says hang in there, not yet, not for sure, 
or uh, um, something else you need to know. There's, there's something more there to, to, to know, to uh, understand, to face, to, you know, when you, it's literally what we're sh showing here when we say to turn yourself upside down and see the whole situation from completely different uh, uh, perspective, from the eyes of another person, seeing it through the eyes of another. Maybe if you learn something, you're waiting for, for um, knowledge, you're waiting to um, somebody to tell you something, to advise you. To, there is enlightenment here, some sort of knowledge, some sort of new, 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 new something is waiting, new facts, new ideas, new point of views. You are waiting for it. Hang in there. But it's good. For now, you are very happy. Tuesday, Tuesday, beautiful. Lovely, look at this, this hand of pentacles, and you are immediately there. You're immediately there, slowly but surely. Knight of pentacles is a slow walker. It's, it's not energy that will perhaps suit you as a fire energy person, but it gives you certainty. This is grounding, being very grounded. Understanding what is in front of you, understanding that it's going to take long, understanding that you still have to work, understanding that there are obstacles, but still seeing final, the uh, uh, final goal in front of yourself. That is, that's a very practical one. We're talking practicalities on this day. Whatever that is, you know exactly what you're supposed to, then you will do it for certain. In the morning, start, finish in the evening, tired, and you know, but you will complete it. It applies also in, in, in a general meaning of your life. If you have your idea, there is offer in here, Ace of Pentacles. You see massive prospect with these pentacles. One pentacle in this hand, another one offered in here. So you really see massive prospect with this, what you are doing on Tuesday. Seemed, on this day, it could seem a bit small, that is not as significant, but it is. It's a massive potential in there to become much bigger, to become something life important, to bring lots of money, abundance, success, even though it seems small and maybe even insignificant at this point on Tuesday. Night of Swords. Another night. Night is, night is always action. Now this one is a mental one. It's talking, it's communicating. You, you yourself, within you, you've got wish card. You will wish something on. You will wish for something on this day. And you will be communicating about it. You want something there. You're wishing. That's your, that's, that's your fulfillment. What would fulfill you? I mean, this is big pentacle that will grow, that's supposed to grow, what you started supposed to grow, you're wishing for it. That's your wish card. And you are communicating, this is Knight of Swords, we're talking about maybe somebody who's Gemini, Libra or, uh, um, <clears throat> or Aquarius in your environment, somebody who's charging fast. These are words, these are thoughts, somebody's quick and witty and, and uh, um, factual, logical, that is lots of communication, fast tempo, making news, telling you something. Could be also somebody's coming to bring you news. Lots of communication in here, but you are standing there, sitting there with this wish. And I think this, this wish is definitely related to this Pentacles Day on Wednesday or <clears throat> something like that. Communicating nonetheless on this Wednesday. King of Cups. Could be also that you have some people around you to deal with. Now this is Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, and now here we have this Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio person, this Mukta sign person, somebody who's um, emotionally very stable. Somehow I be here. I have this uh, um, this King of Cups a lot in in my readings uh, for this week, a lot. From, from both of these decks. That one is, is not going to be interrupted with um, events in the world. It's kind of diplomat, it's kind of politician. It's one that will look at you 
and what your emotional reaction and that going to be of significance for this person to make decision to see who you are to in a way I kind of always saw this one as a manipulative person this king of cups but I mean a very cool customer there I think that you are dealing with one like that this is indecisiveness now suddenly you cannot make decision is it this news Yes, it's a wish card. You wish for something, some fulfillment they're supposed to be for you. You're desperate for it. But then maybe this, this night is starting too fast. Is it news that comes and brought you to this news or situation that this one bringing or words or something that brought you to this stalemate position that you don't know what to do. You kind of pretend not to see the problem. You would like not to know about it. Pretending emotional stability could be just you Sagittarius that you pretending this emotional stability and you don't see that something is problem there it's all right you good cool as cucumber in here there is a problem there is problem you have to deal with something decision to make in a way to make sort of decision whatever that is for you that is very unpleasant you'd rather not to know that the problem exists Eight and nine of wands, suddenly, suddenly, in a big way. Eight wands are done. Eight wands here, done, completed. Lots of communication in here. Your work, your work in here. Also could be communicating. Oh, these wands are in the air. That's why we said it is communications. It's all in the air. Maybe you communicated with somebody overseas. Maybe somebody from there communicates with you. Maybe flying to you to visit you. Or you going overseas is also flying there. Or it's a situation that just drops in front of you and it's heavy and it's important and it's intense for you. You don't know you. Even if it's good, you know, when it's suddenly so so big so massive so intense i mean it, it's unpleasant definitely that you in a at, at that point you don't know what to do with it and now we have this nine of wands with eight ones sitting behind all done and dusted and um, one still to do still to defend there is lots of done we communicating in here perhaps whatever you needed to do you've done it's your job or communication or ideas all set and done. You just have to polish it, complete it, finish it. That is finishing touches in here. You still have to work on it. It's not enough. It's not done. You won't, you won't give up, of course. Even, you see, this one feels wounded or offended. By all means offended, but will not give up. That's it because plenty is done. It's a lot to defend. You won't give it up. You'll defend it. Saturday, beautiful Saturday. Beautiful Saturday. Look, I never mind this Nine of Wands. I really think that it is, in a way, very humane, that energy that really brings our spirit up. Once we complete a difficult task, we push ourselves to the limit and it com we completed and succeeded. That is big boost, massive boost, boost, boost for to our morale to carry on further. Once you know how much you can, that you can do a lot. Proving we will proving to ourselves that we can really do much. Anyway, Saturday is a very beautiful wheel of fortune is changing. Look at the sun. You see your bright future there. Bright future. If it's a project, that is a baby project that you have just started. Then it can bring you abundance and happiness. It can bring you happiness. We can talk children as well in here with the sun card. Children, home, going out, having fun with friends, hobbies, uh, your pets. And, you know, just enjoying good life, being happy, seeing bright future the sun will shine on you whatever is it your baby project your real child the makes you happy 
happy, wheel of fortune, beautiful. It changes for the better, definitely. It's closing down on one chapter in your life and is open. it is opening another one. New, beautiful, that, that you're very optimistic about. You really like that, what is coming. You see beautiful, beautiful life for yourself. That on a Saturday. Seven of Swords and Justice. Yes, you see all it's true there. Justice, very balanced. That's, that's kind of Libra's energy. That is natural justice. You see all fairness there. Everything is fair. Everything is all right. And truth is there. And it finally has arrived. Decision. Finally, for you. You feel it. It's true. It's there. Finally, it's there for me. But then your environment kind of running away from troubles, from, from this conflict, from unpleasant situation, not wanting to face unpleasant situation. You don't want to face it here. Maybe you need to talk to somebody um, and explain maybe yourself or some. I don't know what, what is happening, but um, perhaps there are things unsaid, undone, unfinished, and you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it anymore. Whatever is still ongoing there, in your life, in this crowd there, you don't want to be part of it anymore. Is it your job, your business, your family, your friends? You don't want to be part of that anymore, of that situation. Even if it's just a situation, you don't want to be part of it. You just want to run away from that. And you don't want to even try to explain. You don't want people to know. Kind of, you feel maybe, maybe even ashamed that you're leaving it just like that. But you just don't have power. You don't have what for. Something is good happening for you. And you see, it's a worthless now to waste my time with these people or in this work or in this situation. It's, it's not worth for you anymore. And you just want to... You know, just get the back door and run away from this place. Take whatever you can take and uh, and go. Because definitely justice is there. It's balance, it's truth. Life is changing for you. And it come, it, it is there already. New life, will of fortune, with the sun and justice. It is there. All the one, you just want to, you know, kind of forget, kind of run away from Anyway, Sagittarius, I really hope that you're going to enjoy your week.